Japan marked the 78th anniversary of its surrender in World War II, but without its prime minister mentioning the wartime aggression in Asia. The emperor, on the other hand, expressed deep remorse over Japan's actions. Ria Saito has the details. Japan commemorates the 70th anniversary of its surrender in World War II, three months prior when Prime Minister Fumio Kishida pitched his vision of global denuclearization during the Group of Seven summit held in Hiroshima. Despite uplifting restrictions for COVID-19, the ceremony was still held in a small scale through more than last year's 1,000 Nippon Budokan guested 1,900 people for the ceremony. In his speech at the annual ceremony in Tokyo, Kishida stated his concerns about the possibility of Russia deploying a nuclear weapon on its going war with Ukraine. The government-funded ceremony was held to mourn the deaths of Japan's 2.3 million military personnel and 800 thousand civilians during the war. Around 1,700 participants observed a minute of silence for those killed in the atomic bomb dropped by America during the war. Meanwhile, regardless of his pitch of a world without nuclear weapons three months ago at the summit held in his home constituency, Hiroshima, Kishida did not refer to his vision of global denuclearization in his speech. To recall, the U.S. military dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima in August 1945, the move that forced Japan to surrender. Kishida also did not mention about Japan's wartime aggression in Asia following his predecessors, the late former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe and Yoshihide Suga. Also present in the ceremony is Emperor Naruhito, who expressed his deep remorse as he has done on occasion since ascending the throne last May 2019. In addition, the emperor said to reflect on the past with deep remorse and hoped that the ravages of war will never be repeated again. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Japanese party leader Yamaguchi Natsuo recently met at the Malacanang and discussed the increasing collaboration between Tokyo and Manila in the areas of security, defense, and trade. Here is Hannah Jane Sancho with the details. President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. and Comeco Chief Party Representative Yamaguchi Natsu met in Malacanang recently, opening doors to deeper Philippine-Japan relations, particularly in defense and maritime security. President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr. has conveyed his positive outlook on enhancing relations with Japan, aiming for a broader partnership that encompasses not only trade and investment, but also security and defense aspects. Chief Executive emphasized that due to changing times, the Philippines-Japan relationship has evolved beyond trade to include crucial discussions on regional security and defense. President Marcos expressed appreciation for the support provided by the Japanese government contributing to the country's security and defense efforts, aim at upholding holding peace in Southeast Asia and among neighboring nations. On the other hand, Marcus voiced his concerns regarding North Korea's recent actions, which involved a series of missile launches and weapons tests that have raised Japan's state of vigilance. Japan, for its part, said it is inclined to enhance its collaboration with the Philippines, not only within traditional partnerships, but also by extending to defense and maritime security cooperation, as said by Komito Party Chief Representative Yamaguchi Natsuo. Since Japan eased restriction on transferring foreign Foreign defense equipment and technology in 2014. The Philippines has gained from acquiring defense assets under an agreement signed in February 2016. This includes the UH 1H helicopter parts and maintenance gear in 2019, HADR equipment in 2021, and ongoing TC 90 support program. Japan has also helped enhance the Philippines' maritime surveillance, including radar systems for the Coast Guard. Japan plans to provide the Philippine Coast Guard state-of-the-art satellite communication system that aims to boost the capability of the Philippines to monitor its territory, particularly in the West Philippine Sea. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Hannah Jane Sancho, SMNI News.